protect your cards. Yeah, welcome here and today I will show you how to store and protect your cards. First, important information you need to know. One Piece cards are standard size cards. It means 63 by 88 millimeters. They are on a thicker side but still in a range for 35 point products. Always buy products for standard size cards. Do not buy Japanese size products as they are intended for smaller cards like Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, with doubt out of the way, let's speak about protecting cards for playing. First of all, according to the tournament rules, every card in your deck must be sleeved. For this purpose, you can use standard sleeves, some players call them deck protectors. Here I have some examples from Dragon Shield and Ultimate Guard. You simply open the sleeve and slide the card in. Be careful not to scratch or damage the edges. This is the most basic protection and requirement to play in tournaments. Additionally, remember that your leader and your dawn cards must be sleeved differently than your main deck. Lastly, sleeves must be opaque, so please confirm it with manufacturer's website or check it under light. But what if you are playing with very expensive cards like alternate arts or trophy cards? Then I suggest double sleeving. To double sleeve a card we need already mentioned deck protectors and inner sleeves, also known as perfect fits. As the name implies they fit card tight and perfect and are smaller than standard sleeves. Most popular choice here are bottom loaded perfect fit or sealable ones. Please do not buy side loaded perfect fits as they don't protect the card in the same way as the other two. As our main goal is to protect card as much as possible, especially from spilled drinks in local game store. Insert card into perfect fit from the bottom and then into standard sleeve from the top. This way there is very little risk for any liquid to damage your card. Just remember to remove additional air from the sleeves afterwards. For maximum protection you can use sealable perfect fits. Just insert most of the card into it and close the flap. Then accordingly finish with a standard sleeve and you are good to go. With such protection you can play underwater and your cards will stay dry. But what if you want to use one of these beautiful art sleeves from Bandai? We know that even though they are pretty, they just don't shuffle well and are easy to damage. But there is a solution. You can use outer sleeves. As an example, I have Game C character guard matte and clear. We proceed in a similar way like for double sleeving, but this time transparent sleeve is bigger and goes outside to protect the art sleeve. Please keep in mind according to the rules you can only double sleeve any given card. So please do not triple sleeve using inner sleeves, standard sleeves and outer sleeves. But what if you have a fancy leader card and want to accent it nicely? You can use mini snaps. Example here is Ultra Pro mini snap. Even though you can use them without any additional product, I prefer to first insert a card into syllable perfect fit. Then place a card at the middle of mini snap and close it. Your leader is perfectly protected now and looks just beautiful. Okay, your deck is ready. Now how to transport it? Don't overthink it and use any deck box you like. Market is full of good choices and there is something for everyone. Just keep in mind, not all of them fit leaders protected in mini snaps, so check the dimensions first. Additionally, each one piece deck has 50 main cards plus 10 don cards plus a leader card. It means you need a box that will fit 61 cards. Most of them have information on the box with maximum capacity for either single or double sleeved cards. Okay, we can play safely. Now let's talk about storing your cards. Basic protection penny sleeves. They little Generally cost a penny per sleeve. Some players call them soft sleeves. But do you want to put every card that you store in penny sleeves? It's up to you. Personally, I sleeve only rare and higher cards. I have so many bulk commons and uncommons and they are worthless, I decided to store them raw. You use them the same as standard sleeves. Just open, slide a card in and you are good to go. As always, be careful with the edges. I know some players like to put their cards in perfect fits for storage. This might be a hot take, but I'm against it. In my opinion, perfect fits should be used only for cards that you are actively playing, eventually 
for binders but for storage solution I'm going to show you at the end of the video I'm only using penny sleeves and for a very simple reason as you can see there is much more space inside penny sleeve so you don't risk any pressure or damage corners on the cards you might potentially sell in the future additionally penny sleeves are just cheaper and enough for basic protection but what if you want to store expensive cards stop loaders perfect solution for storing your precious cards long term always leave your card before sliding it into top loader and slide most of the card in and tap top loader gently on flat surface extra tip stick a marking flag on penny sleeve so it's easier to remove the card from top loader when you need it or sell it next we have team bags you can use them to store your bulk cards together for example you have up to 15 copies of some card and don't want them loose you put them in a team bag they are resealable so use them as much as you want However, I use them also to protect my top loaders from dust particles and scratches. Just put top loader in, seal it and you are good to go. They are also perfect to ship your cards once you sell them. But what if you want to display your cards? Magnetic cases. Standard ones fit a card with or without perfect fit sleeve. As you already know, I'm not a fan of inner sleeves for storage. Because of that, I display my trophy cards in magnetic cases from Pro Mold. They fit a card in penny sleeve. First, put your card into sleeve, open magnetic case and place the card inside. Close the lid and finished. Be careful as the magnet in some cases is very strong. Now all you need to do is put a case on some stand and display it. You've just learned about the different methods of protecting your cards, but where to store them? My choice are cardboard boxes, standard ones for all the cards I might play, sorted by color and card number for easy tracking. Expensive or collector cards in top loader team bag combo I put in boxes sized that fit graded cards in slabs. You might ask, but what about binders and portfolios? For my collection needs and quantity, they are unnecessary. If you like to display your cards this way, then by all means do it. They are a cool way to display your master sets if you are this kind of collector. Additionally, you can transport your trade cards in them to your local game store. But in reality, most of the things are digital. If I buy or sell a card, I do it via card market. If I need to build a deck, I don't go through my binders, I just do it in OPTCG Sim or on websites like One Piece Card Game Dev. Once I'm done with my testing and want to bring a deck to locals, I just go through my boxes and easily pick any card I need by card number. In conclusion, we are lucky to have many different ways to protect our precious One Piece cards. Everyone can find something that will match their needs, be it penny sleeves or perfect fits, binders or boxes, because in the end of the day, this is true beauty of collecting, that everyone has a preference. What I can suggest, stay open-minded and if possible, test before you buy anything. That's it for today, subscribe for more One Piece card game content, bye.